The world of physics is incredibly vast. It deals with concepts of time, space, and energy, while making us understand how these three forces are interlinked. Today, we're going to talk about a concept of physics that has troubled several high school students, the double slit experiment by Thomas Young. But before we dive into the actual topic, it is essential to understand the wave particle duality. Wave particle duality is a fundamental concept in quantum mechanics that describes the dual nature of matter and radiation. It refers to the observation that particles, such as electrons and photons, can behave as particles and waves under different experimental conditions. The concept of wave particle duality challenges our classical intuition about the nature of matter. We need a new way of thinking about the physical world at the quantum level. The wave-like behavior of particles is most commonly observed in experiments involving diffraction, interference, and superposition, or in our case, the double slit experiment. When a beam of particles is directed at a barrier with two slits, the particles can form an interference pattern on a screen behind the barrier, similar to the pattern produced by waves. This is because the particles passing through the slits exhibit wave-like behavior, with each particle having a probability amplitude that can interfere with other probability amplitudes. On the other hand, the particle-like behavior of particles is observed in experiments involving measurement and observation. When a particle is measured, it is observed to have a definite position and momentum, and its wave function collapses to a single state. This wave function collapse is a fundamental feature of quantum mechanics, and is responsible for the probabilistic nature of quantum phenomena. The wave-particle duality of matter and radiation can be explained mathematically using the wave-particle duality postulate, which states that every particle has wave-like and particle-like properties. The wave function describes particles' wave-like behavior, which is a mathematical function that describes the probability of finding the particle at a specific position. The particle-like behavior of particles is defined by the particle's position and momentum, which are properties that can be measured. The double-slit experiment is a famous experiment in quantum mechanics that demonstrates the wave-particle duality of matter. It involves shooting individual particles, such as electrons or photons, through two slits in a barrier, and observing the resulting interference pattern on a screen behind it. When particles are shot through the slits one at a time, they create an interference pattern characteristic of waves. This is unexpected, since particles are typically considered localized objects rather than waves. The wave-like behavior of the particles suggests that they are behaving like waves, and this is where the interpretation of the experiment becomes essential. One interpretation of the experiment is that the particles exist in a superposition of states, which simultaneously have wave-like and particle-like properties. This interpretation is consistent with wave-particle duality and the mathematical framework of quantum mechanics. Another interpretation is the Copenhagen interpretation, which suggests that particles only have definite properties once they are measured. In this view, measurement collapses the wave function and forces the particle to assume an actual position. Let's have a look at the double slit experiment explained by Dr. Quantum in What the Bleep Do We Know? Down the Rabbit Hole. This will help you understand the ridiculousness of the double slit experiment. And here we are, the granddaddy of all quantum weirdness, the infamous double slit experiment. To understand this experiment, we first need to see how particles, or little balls of matter, act. If we randomly shoot a small object, say a marble, at the screen, we see a pattern on the back wall where they went through the slit and hit. Now, if we add a second slit, we would expect to see a second band duplicated to the right. Now, let's look at waves. The waves hit the slit and radiate out, striking the back wall with the most intensity directly in line with the slit. The line of brightness on the back screen shows that intensity. This is similar to the line the marbles make. But when we add the second slit, something different happens. If the top of one wave meets the bottom of another wave, they cancel each other out. So now, there is an interference pattern on the back wall. Places where the two tops meet are the highest intensity, the bright lines, and where they cancel, there is nothing. So, when we throw things, 
that is, matter, through two slits, we get this. Two bands of hits. And with waves, we get an interference pattern of many bands. Good so far. Now, let's go quantum. <laughs> An electron is a tiny, tiny bit of matter, like a tiny marble. Let's fire a stream through one slit. It behaves just like the marble, a single band. So, if we shoot these tiny bits through two slits, we should get, like the marbles, two bands. What? An interference pattern. We fired electrons tiny bits of matter through. But we get a pattern like waves, not like little marbles. How? How could pieces of matter create an interference pattern like a wave? It doesn't make sense. But physicists are clever. They thought maybe those little balls are bouncing off each other and creating that pattern. So they decide to shoot electrons through one at a time. There is no way they could interfere with each other. But after an hour of this, the same interference pattern is seen to emerge. The conclusion is inescapable. The single electron leaves as a particle, becomes a wave of potentials, goes through both slits, and interferes with itself to hit the wall like a particle. But mathematically, it's even stranger. It goes through both slits, and it goes through neither. And it goes through just one, and it goes through just the other. All of these possibilities are in superposition with each other. But physicists were completely baffled by this. So they decided to peek and see which slit it actually goes through. They put a measuring device by one slit to see which one it went through and let it fly. <laughs> but the quantum world is far more mysterious than they could have imagined. When they observed, the electron went back to behaving like a little marble. It produced a pattern of two bands, not an interference pattern of many. The very act of measuring or observing which slit it went through meant it only went through one, not both. The electron decided to act differently, as though it was aware it was being watched. And it was here that physicists stepped forever into the strange never world of quantum events. What is matter? Marbles or waves? And waves of what? And what does an observer have to do with any of this? The observer collapsed the wave function simply by observing. The double slit experiment is a fascinating example of the counterintuitive behavior of quantum particles and the various interpretations scientists have proposed to explain their behavior. When the particles pass through the slits, they enter a state of superposition where they exist in a combination of both possible paths. Each particle has a wave function that describes the probability of finding the particle at any given position. The particle's wave function is a complex mathematical function that can have positive and negative values, which can interfere with each other. The two waves from the two slits can interfere constructively, leading to bright fringes on the screen, or destructively, leading to dark fringes. The interference pattern is a result of the superposition of the wave functions of each particle, and it is a manifestation of the wave-like behavior of matter. The concept of superposition is fundamental to quantum mechanics, implying that a quantum particle can exist in multiple states simultaneously. This starkly contrasts classical mechanics, where objects have definite positions and momenta. The concept of superposition has important applications in quantum computing, where information is stored and processed in qubits that exist in a superposition of states. Young's double-slit experiment is a seminal experiment in the history of science, as it provided one of the earliest pieces of evidence for the wave nature of light and the principle of superposition. The experiment is remarkable for several reasons, some of which are the experiment challenged the prevailing view of light as a particle, 
Before Young's experiment, many scientists believed light was composed of particles. However, Young's experiment showed that light behaved as waves, producing an interference pattern on a screen behind the double slits. As mentioned above, it demonstrated the concept of superposition. Young's experiment showed that when two waves overlap, their amplitudes can add together constructively or destructively, depending on their phase difference. This interference effect results from the principle of superposition, where waves can exist in a state of superposition and their amplitudes can combine in complex ways. The experiment worked as a foundation for quantum mechanics. This and subsequent experiments on the wave-particle duality of matter and radiation paved the way for developing quantum mechanics. The concept of superposition and the wave-particle duality is central to quantum mechanics and is used in various applications, including quantum computing and cryptography. And most of all, this experiment stressed the element of observation and its importance in physics and science. The experiment demonstrated that the act of observation and measurement could have a profound impact on the behavior of particles and waves. The wave function collapse that occurs when a particle is observed is a fundamental concept in quantum mechanics, and it implies that the act of measurement can alter the state of a system. One application of the principles demonstrated in the double slit experiment is in optics, particularly in the design and fabrication of diffraction gratings, which are used in many optical devices such as spectrometers, lasers, and fiber optic telecommunication systems. Diffraction gratings are composed of a series of parallel slits or grooves, which can diffract light or other electromagnetic waves, resulting in interference patterns that can be used for precise measurement and analysis. The principles of superposition and interference that underlie Young's double slit experiment are also fundamental to the field of quantum mechanics, which has led to the development of many new technologies, such as quantum computing and cryptography. Quantum mechanics is also the foundation of modern solid-state electronics, essential to developing computer processors and many other electronic devices. However, for every concept in science, another one is used to compare the original concept. Comparison in the sense of what differs between the two and where exactly they have a connecting link between them. For Young's double-slit experiment, we have Schrodinger's experiment. The same scientist who gave us the famous thought experiment of Schrodinger's cat. Schrodinger's experiment, also known as the electron diffraction experiment, demonstrated the wave-like nature of electrons, typically considered particles. The experiment involved firing electrons through a crystal lattice, which was a diffraction grating. The resulting diffraction pattern on a screen behind the lattice showed interference fringes similar to those observed in Young's double slit experiment with light. There were a bunch of similarities found between the two experiments, with the most major one being both experiments demonstrated that light could exhibit wave-like and particle-like behavior, while Schrodinger's experiment demonstrated that particles like electrons could also exhibit wave-like behavior. They expanded on interference, as interference between two waves produces an interference pattern. In Schrodinger's experiment, the interference between two electron waves produces a diffraction pattern. Thirdly, superposition is observed in both of them. Waves that pass through the double slits interfere with each other, resulting in an interference pattern on the screen. In Schrodinger's experiment, the electron wave function is a superposition of multiple possible states, and the interference between these states produces a diffraction pattern. The electron wave duality of a particle gives it spontaneity. Both experiments highlight the role of wave function collapse, which can alter the interference pattern. In Schrodinger's experiment, measurement can collapse the wave function and determine the electron's position, but that isn't to say there weren't any follow-ups on the double-slit experiment. Several interpretations followed after it, such as the Copenhagen interpretation, explained above in the third section. Apart from this, another important theory is the many-worlds theory. The many-worlds interpretation, or MWI, is a theory in quantum mechanics that proposes that the universe exists in multiple parallel states or universes, each representing a different outcome of a quantum measurement. Physicist Hugh Everett first proposed the theory in 1957. According to the MWI, when a quantum measurement is made, the universe splits into multiple parallel universes, each representing a different possible outcome. For example, if an electron is in a superposition of two states, it exists in both states simultaneously until a measurement is made. When a measurement is made, the universe splits into two parallel universes, one in which the electron is in one state, and another in which it is in the other state. 
The MWI proposes that all possible outcomes of a quantum measurement exist simultaneously in different parallel universes, and each of these universes is equally real. This means there are infinite parallel universes, each representing a different possible outcome of a quantum measurement. The MWI is controversial. Many physicists argue that it is untestable and unverifiable. However, it remains a popular interpretation of quantum mechanics among some scientists, and has inspired much debate and discussion in the scientific community. There have been several films and pop culture that have developed ideas based on the MWI. However, as of now, scientists have yet to confirm that such an idea exists. There is a similarity between the Many Worlds interpretation and Young's double slit experiment, in that both involve the concept of superposition. In Young's investigation, a single photon or electron passing through two slits creates a superposition of two possible paths that interfere to produce an interference pattern on a screen. In the Many Worlds interpretation, a quantum system also exists in a superposition of multiple possible states. Each of these states represents a different possible outcome of a quantum measurement. Both the double slit experiment and the MWI suggest that quantum systems can exist simultaneously in multiple states or paths, and that these states can interfere with each other to produce observable effects. The MWI proposes that these various states or paths represent parallel universes, each equally real and existing simultaneously. In this sense, the MWI is an extension of the concept of superposition in quantum mechanics. It builds on the observations and principles demonstrated in the double slit experiment. Once again, the common factor we see between this theory and the double slit experiment is the existence of superposition. Young's double slit experiment still stands tall 200 years after being performed for the first time, but it teaches us one of the most fundamental teachings of physics, which is the dual nature of particles in our universe. All of the theories that came after it just credited Young's status as a man ahead of his time in the world of physics. If you like this video, go check out our video on the quantum immortality theory, which suggests that an individual's consciousness can never indeed die. This is a concept based on many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics. Since we've already discussed the many worlds interpretation, you'll be walking into that video prepared. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to the channel. We will meet you soon with another thought-provoking video to help you expand your knowledge. Until then, take care.